Hey guys, Dan here from VHIX411. Today in front of me I have a Volvo semi truck cluster with the buzzer not working. I will show you how the repair service is done. So if you want to repair it yourself, it's not that hard to do so. Uh, we'll also tell you where you can get the parts or actually get the service done. Alright, this is what the guy looks like. Now, if you need your gauges, also a common problem, the stepper motor is not working. Watch my other video. Otherwise, let's get started. I'll flip this guy over. I'll be using a Torx T10 to remove all these screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remove this guy. All right, here's the speaker. I'll be using a solder iron. We need to remove these brackets that hold it to the board, and of course the connection points here. Now if you're not sure if your buzzer is bad, you can get a 9 volt, regular 9 volt battery and you can actually touch the connections over here in front and it's supposed to make click noise, like it would click up and down. In this case it's not even doing anything. You can even remove it, double check, it would have a better connection because in here it's not as great of a connection to test it out. but. Now that we know it's bad for sure, I will I will heat up the solder point over here and carefully as soon as it heats up lift it up. As you can see it goes up and goes down. So you wanna lift it up and hold it a little bit. That way when it cools out when it cools off as you can see now it's a little bit up on this side we don't want to force it out of there that way we break the brackets same goes to this as you can see this guy popped all the way out now I'll do the same on here heat it up Oops. buzzer top piece just came off but we still got to remove the whole piece now we'll do the same thing on these let me zoom in my camera right here that way we know what we're working with so I'll just turn it around so I can see it same thing heat this guy up up a little, heat this guy up, so once it's heat up, up, and we'll just do it side by side slowly. Alright, got this guy out of here. Now that we got it removed, these pins will get pliers and straighten them out. Okay, just line it up. That way it's even, nice and parallel. Same goes here, it's all good. So you can even double check over here. 
power and ground you can clean up over here and check this one right here or right here I'll just clean this area since we need to remove it anyways You can double check, as you can see, nothing. This guy is bad 100%. So we have a new one. It will go right in here. And I've seen people put it on top, like this, and then put the wires on here. You do what you can do, what you want to do, we just normally do it the way it's supposed to be put a new in there and go from there because a lot of these sometimes stick out and then when you put a top cover it kind of just squeezes it in there so let's get this guy out of this bracket razor blade and just clean out the glue out of here You can push on this end right here a little bit. Okay, one side is out. This side needs a little bit more cleaning. You gotta be really careful when using this razor blade because it is really sharp. All right. So as you can see, got it popped. Clean it around. Now we'll need to unsolder this from here. So we'll do this. There you go, this guy's out. These pins right here, you kinda need to bend them back. But this is a bad guy. As you can see, this guy identical in diameter. Power here, ground here, power here, ground here, so identical. Put it in here. I'll put it under this right here. And it's all in here. So what you could do Since it's in here, I can put Gorilla Glue, Super Glue right here, Super Glue.
So got the super glue. I will wait a couple minutes, five minutes. All right, now that the glue dried out a little, I will solder these contacts so we have good connection. Just get my wire. I'll start with this end where the speaker is. Just to melt it, get the process started. Same goes here. Bend them down. And I will apply another layer just over that one. Same goes here. Melt it, push it down. And there you have it. So the connection. The glue dried out, so it's a good connection. Now, before we put it in here, we are going to test it. Sometimes if you want to test it and it's not a good connection. So you can hear that. Maybe you can see it on the video. Let's see. You can hear the speaker make noise. And you can see it jumping. So now we know this is 100% good speaker, good connection, because I just checked it with my 9 volt battery. So, good speaker, good connection. Now, now these holes right here, we're going to clean them up a little bit so we can put our. This one is filled up. So, we're going to clean it a little bit. What I like to use for it is a suction tube. Gotta be careful not to overheat this circuit board, so heat it up. Oh. Heat it up a little. And as you can see, I have a good clean hole in there. Clean this one up. Also, good clean hole. I will warm this one up. I'll do one more time. And same goes here. Now, when you're cleaning it up, there could be like little debris flying out. Flip it around. blow it out. Make sure you blow it all out. That way we don't get any short. So. Now I will grab my piece, install it here. Now don't force it in if it's not flush. Just warm it up and slowly it'll jump in there so it's in the exact location where it was. Same goes here. If you don't want to get in there perfectly, just warm it up 
and it'll slide in there. So now I got it all set up nice and clean. I will just grab more solder, put it on one end, melt it on the other end. And it's hot enough, it'll melt all around right in that hole. You don't really need to worry about these. These are just the brackets to hold it in. So there's actually no connection through here, but you can see, gotta melt it in there so it holds in good. Now these pins, you gotta make sure you have a good connection. So we will put it on one end of the pin and solder on the other it just warms everything up and melts it in there now if you can see it really good connection everything tested out this new speaker is working we're good to go all we need to do is just put this cover on and put my screws back on don't forget the middle screw which is right here and then all of them around Now that I got them all set up, Everything's connected, all the screws are in, and that's how you do a buzzer replace on a Volvo semi truck. Now, if you need this guy right here, at the end of this video, go to Carmen Auto. There's a link you can buy this buzzer. If you got a gauge issue, also you can go to my other videos at the Hicks 411 channel and see the video for. Volvo gauge or stepper motor replacement. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe.